All right, cooking in the truck again today. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna cook a steak, uh, some broccoli. I'm gonna throw some butter in there with it because I got a. Uh, I like to cook my broccoli in the same pan as my steak. Um, so I like the butter kind of, you know, adds it together a little bit. Let's see what we got here. We got a boneless sirloin beef steak. Um, a little over a pound. Not the greatest cut of meat, but uh, you know, when you want a big big slab of meat there it is okay per the usual uh foil up your pan real good turn your heat up uh we're gonna throw some butter in there and uh we'll get this we'll get this thing rocking and rolling all right we got the steak rolling now uh when i cut my steak in the truck i keep it the temperature all the way up uh it takes a little bigger in the pan than i thought it was gonna be i'm gonna have a tough time getting my broccoli in there um but I got it salt and peppered. Uh, that's all I do to mine. I put about maybe a tablespoon of butter in there. I'm on some unlevel ground now, so I got to keep uh, I got to keep turning it to keep my butter from running all to one side. Uh, these are the challenges you will find cooking in a truck. But uh, there it is. We're gonna let it ride for about uh, maybe five minutes on that side. Uh, when I flip it, I'll throw the broccoli in. All right, there we go. About five minutes on high. Uh, flipped her over there. Put my broccoli in. I like to let my broccoli cook in that juice, that uh, that meat juice. Uh, put a couple, I don't know, probably like another tablespoon of butter in there, uh, just to kind of help, you know, make some juice. And um, now I'll take another piece of foil and put it over the top, and that'll kind of uh, steam that broccoli a little bit for me. All right, there you go. That's how I like to do it. Put a little piece of foil over about half of the pan. Uh, the meat juice, of course, this is the downhill side over here, so all the juice is running down into the broccoli, and then it's steaming out. Um, the meat's continuing to cook, uh, but yeah, the broccoli under there, you know, th that'll be steamed up in the in the meat juice uh, by the time the meat gets done. All right, there we go. We're done up. The broccoli is soft and steamed. Steak is ready to go. I cut that thing into three pieces. Um, I picked the, I picked the most done piece. I'll let those other two finish up. Um, have me some leftovers tomorrow. Uh, so that's how you do it, guys. I try to get a you know a steak big enough where I can you know maybe have one more than one meal out of it. It's always it's always helpful. You know I can throw a piece of that in the pan or. Uh, you know, throw that in the microwave in the morning. With some, maybe cook me some eggs to go with it. You know, a little steak and eggs for breakfast. But uh, that's that's what uh, that's what's for dinner, guys. Uh, beef and broccoli. I uh, got my mouth watering. The broccoli is perfect. Uh, it's cooked in that beef juice. So I uh, can't wait. Can't wait. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you could uh, maybe subscribe. Think about subscribing to this channel if you. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff and hit that thumbs up check out the description for uh other things and uh, maybe click on one of these other videos thank you for watching bye